I'd like to answer the question, how do you add fields and sections and tabs onto a form? So on my account form here, I want to add a fictitious section that's all about sales analytics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my form editor. I'm going to insert a new tab. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse my other tabs. So I have a summary tab and a details tab. I'm going to collapse both of those. And I'm happy that my new tab is actually between my summary and my details exactly where I wanted it. I'm going to double click on it so that I can change my um, label to sales stats. I'm going to click OK and you can see my sales stats label has updated. I have a section that's already inserted in here and it's a, a full column by default. So what I really want to do is I want to go in and I want to change the formatting on this. I'm going to add four columns instead of the single column. And so now I have four columns I can build out information to. And I've already created a bunch of fields for this. So the first one I'm going to go look for is um, products per employee. I'm going to drop that onto my form. And you can see there's a little red line. I'll show you it again on the next one. Um, I want to reuse number of employees, so I'm going to uncheck my show only unused fields number of employees and drop it on. And you can see it's going to drop onto the second column because of the red line just above the column. So I'm going to let go, number of employees. My next column is going to be total products. And then potential revenue. or product revenue. And then I'm going to find support call cost. And then I'm going to insert a spacer. And I'm going to drag and drop it. I'm going to drop on a field called expected calls. And then finally support revenue. And that's all I have to do in order to add fields into CRM, make sure that they're spaced out the way that I want, have the correct number of um, fields, and then we can even change the section name and show the label on the section form. So as you can see right now, the label is section, but it's grayed out, so if I publish this form, it wouldn't appear. So we'll just label this um, product sales. Click OK. Product and support sales is in gray. I could go back home. I'm going to click Save because only um, saved items are published. I'll hit Publish. Now that it's published, I'll use F5 or Control R to refresh my screen. And as you can see, my sales stats are now here. Uh, so I have the ability to add in products for employees. So I would say, Maybe a typical employee at this company will buy 10 of my products. Um, I could do the math myself or will be getting into um, doing some simple math automatically inside of CRM in a future video.